trichloroethylene contamination of water, TCE. TCE is this organic solvent molecule that is very popular to use uh, when you're working with metals. You use it to degrease metals, basically. Uh, the problem is, is that this TC has been used in such large volumes that inevitably a lot of this TCE ends up in the groundwater. The issue, radioactivity in your drinking water. And it's all the result of ongoing I-Team reports about the safety of Houston's water. City council members were calling for action about the radiation government tests show is in Houston's drinking water. We have a problem with the drinking water and use of water in Houston, Texas. But if it puts you at increased risk for cancer, shouldn't you be striving for more than just the legal requirements? We will continue to meet every legal standard that the federal government gives us. Which left us with one more question. The city, was there anybody Mayor, else? Mayor, your staff was told that they should install filters at hot spots, hot spot wells. Mayor, why are you, why are you not interested in ask, answering this question? The mayor's spokesperson just told us that they've now taken another radioactive well offline, this time one in Jersey Village. And they took one more offline in Spring Branch that had some radiation but tested double the legal limit for a different problem, arsenic. We've been asking Houston officials for maps of neighborhoods that get water from wells that test positive for radiation, but the city is refusing to provide the maps. They claim that terrorists could somehow use the information to hurt citizens. Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and today we're going to talk about a very important topic that is the water you and your family drinks. I would say 90% of people viewing this are getting their water supply from a municipal water supply and that is loaded with problems and that's what I want to discuss now. The average person in this country is, at least in the United States, is taking 13 drugs a year. And what do you think happens to those drugs? What will wind up eventually in the water supply too. So these drugs are in the water and they're typically not removed from a, a traditional a water filtration system. CERN in, in a water, system, water supply would be Chlorine. And chlorine is, of course, is added to improve the or decrease the likelihood that you're going to get sick. But it does so at a cost. And the cost is that the chlorine, it, it's not normal. It's going to, it's not only going to kill back pathogens in the water, but also kill your own gut in, infections. But even more importantly, and this is the real risk, is the chlorine can combine with organic material in the water and in your body to form something that's called a disinfection byproduct, or a DPB for short. The most uh, common ones would be trihalomethanes or um, endoacetic acids. So these are dangerous because they increase, they're about 10,000 times more dangerous than chlorine and, and with respect to increasing cancers and causing other complications and problems. So this is definitely something you do not want in your water supply. 